Washington DC is overrun, overrun by criminals, paramilitary soldiers and special op teams. Simply walking into DC is not an option, we're going to have to fight. And that's where this video intel brief comes in. Being part of the strategic homeland division comes with its benefits. Besides top of the line skills and gear, you have a choice of the finest weaponry, so let's see what there is in store. While you're able to equip two primary weapons as well as the sidearm, you'll be able to pick from seven or eight weapon classes depending on if you count signature weapons. Those classes are rifles, assault rifles, submachine guns, light machine guns, shotguns, marksman rifles, sidearms and signature weapons. And it's right, I said rifles, there's a new category which we'll get into in a second. A lot, if not all of the weapons from New York have made their way into DC. On top of that, there are some new weapons unseen before. While the weapons that I'm going to mention have been confirmed to be available in DC, the weapons with an asterisk next to it haven't had their name confirmed. The first category, the first class of weapons are the rifles. Although the weapons aren't new, the class itself hasn't been introduced yet. This class includes semi-automatic and burst rifles where the assault rifles will contain the automatic ones. These will now have their own weapon bonus, although it's still unknown what this is, but this weapon bonus will be more catered towards the utility of the weapon. Footage of the field intel confirms the FAL M14 MDR battle rifle, which is similar to the Urban MDR, and the SA-58, which is a variant of the FAL. Moving on to the assault rifles, there are a lot of classics returning as well as new ones introduced. We have the ACR, AK-47 or AKM, Black Market AKM, the Bullfrog, which is a variant of the FAMAS, Custom P416 G3, the Enhanced ACRE F2000, which is the new one, the G36 Enhanced, Lightweight M4, LVOAC, M16A2, Police M4, SCAR L, SOCOM SCAR L, and the Tactical ACR. Two of these are new, those being the F2000 and the M16A2. The third category on this list, but the second most used, are the submachine guns. Once again, classics are returning and at least one new SMG is introduced. This class contains the Burst MP5, Converted USC, Enhanced AUK A3P, MP5ST, the MPX, P90, Police TA21, PP19, Tactical UMP45, Vector SBR45 ACP and the Vector SBR 9mm. New one on this list is of course the P90. The following class has seen a rise in popularity since the introduction of the Lone Star set. The light machine guns haven't seen any new additions yet. Confirmed LMGs are the Black Market RPK-74E, Classic M60, Custom L86A2, Infantry MG5, M249B and the Military MK46. To alternate between long and close range, it can be smart to equip a shotgun. This class contains a lot of shotguns we already know and love, but it introduces one of the baddest of asses of shotguns. We have the Black Market SASG 12S, the Custom M870 MCS double barrel shotgun, the Lullaby, which is an exotic variant of this best well, M870 Express, Marine Super 90 shotgun. Military M133 shotgun, which might be a variant of the custom M870 MCS. Military M90 shotgun, the Showstopper, which is a returning variant of the A12, the SPAS-12 and the Tactical Super 90 SPS. But short range isn't everything. Battling at a distance is more effective now, meaning the selection of a marksman rifle isn't a bad idea. Judging by the intel we have, we didn't see any new rifles, but old ones are returning. Field intel confirmed the classic M44 carbine, the hunting M44, M1A CQB, M700 carbon, paratrooper SVD, SOCOM MK20 SSR, the SR1 and the surplus SVD. Moving on to the seventh category, the sidearms. Not many have been shown, although there probably will be a lot of returning sidearms. So far we have confirmed the Glock 18C, Military M9 and the PX4 Storm Type F. The new one in this category that has a lot of people excited is the Glock 18C. 
The final category are special and signature weapons, which is kind of a category of its own. So let's see what we have here. We have the bow, which is unconfirmed for SHD agents, but we have seen an outcaster wield it, which might mean that we'd be able to pick it up. And of course we have the other three signature weapons, the explosive tipped crossbow, the M32A1 grenade launcher and the TAC-50C AM rifle. As you saw, many weapons have been seen to return and quite a lot of new weapons are introduced. If I missed any, please let me know with a source and I'll put it on the list. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed or used the guide, I would like to ask you to like or dislike depending on what you thought of the video. Share, subscribe and click the notification bell to become part of the Masterminds HD community and notification squad. On top of that, you can follow me on Twitter for daily updates and join my Discord if you're looking for an engaged community that revolves around Tom Clancy's Division 1 and 2. Both links are in the description. Visit my Patreon page through the link in the description if you're interested in weapon blueprints, build blueprints and intel files on different characters and factions. These all contain summarized information from the videos I'm making. To end the video, I have a question for you. When entering Washington DC, what two primary weapons and sidearm will you equip? I will be starting with the F2000s, Lullaby and Glock 18C, just to get a taste of all the new weapons. Leave your answer in the comment section down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. I'll talk to you in the next video on Discord or on Twitter. Peace out.